Weaverville, California. For most, it's just an intersection on your way to Trinity Lake, or a gas stop on the way to the Redwood Forest. Most people just drive through this part of Trinity County. They pass right by the sawmill and the narrow road on Main Street. Most people don't even know that Weaverville, California exists, and that's probably why most people don't even notice the state historic site in the center of town. You're the third uh, person to film here. First was Hugh Hauser, the second was Jim Burns for PBS. At exactly 12 o'clock noon, the shadows from the dragon sundial point directly at the entrance of the Weaverville Joss House. And it's the oldest continuously used Chinese temple here in California. State park historian Jack Frost tells me that the word Joss is a name that the Portuguese people gave the Chinese Taos Temple. California has many of these Joss houses, but what makes the Weaverville Joss House the oldest is some found shipping records on the old shrine. Manufactured in southern China in Canton, shipped to San Francisco in 1873, brought up the Sacramento River by the riverboats. The gold rush of 1849, then the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad in the 1880s, is what brought thousands of Chinese to California. But a number of those Chinese moved to Weaverville because it was safer. It was a little bit safer because of its isolation. A lot of the uh, negative attitudes that existed in the larger cities, uh, they weren't prevalent up here. That's not to say that racism and hate didn't find its way to Weaverville. Take a look at this bullet mark on the temple's gong. Uh, that occurred back in the late 1890s when it was being carried through a parade here in Weaverville and one of the locals pulled out a revolver and shot it. The Joss House was a multi-purpose building, a safe haven for Chinese to relax, pray, and more importantly, meet with the temple's caretaker. So he was like a monk, a priest, he was a caretaker, um, a school teacher, a doctor, the caretaker was often the most educated and probably the only person that could write a letter home to family members. The caretaker also kept census records on the wall of the Joss house. For our Chinese visitors today, that's the most important artifact that we have in this whole facility. During the Chinese Cultural Revolution in the 1960s and 70s, much of China's cultural artifacts were destroyed. But the Weaverville Joss house was able to save many of those artifacts. And you're but, telling me that this, so this is, this is still active here. It's still active. It's still actively used. Every week that I work here, I have Chinese visitors. Weaverville may not be a well-known destination, but it's not a forgotten town. The history here runs deep. California history and Chinese history. And it's worth stopping for. A lot of the Chinese who visit here, they don't have a lot to say, but I've seen many of them with tears in their eyes and that says a lot to me. From the Weaverville Joss House in Trinity County, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.